Omid Scobie alleges in his latest book Endgame that Meghan has been sending the monarch pictures of her children, Archie and Lilibet. With rumors circulating that Meghan Markle has been texting King Charles, the connection appears to be afloat. Scobie said that he was surprised to discover that Meghan and Charles had remained in contact. Adding fuel to the fire, Scobie's apparent claims have led to the resurfacing of Meghan's fake pregnancy conspiracy theories, including the claims that she employed a surrogate and that the children with Prince Harry weren't even hers. That's been proved by surrogates they said they'd given birth for her and in fact Archie had been collected in a room booked for the purpose in the hospital and the nurses reported the same about Lilibet. Meghan isn't a mother, she has no mother instincts and doesn't know how to act and is terrible around other children even with disabilities. She just wants to be known as the ex-royal with the big scandals. DNA needs to be done if any children at all. In the most extreme circumstances, the theories claimed that a child never existed. The claims initially appeared in Paris Match on Friday, November 24, in an effort to promote Sco's second book, Endgame, Inside the Royal Family and the Monarchy's Fight for Survival. Meghan Markle hasn't been emailing the images directly to King Charles, claims Omid Scobie. According to the author, she's willing for children to develop a close relationship with their grandfather. That doesn't appear to be the situation with Harry, though. In an interview with People magazine, Scobby claimed that Harry still had unfinished business with his family following the separation from the royal family three years ago. Meghan and her husband Harry endured a strained relationship. The Sussexes, in their shocking Netflix documentary, Harry and Meghan, made several shocking revelations regarding the firm. Scobby's claims correspond with rumors that Meghan and Harry have not been invited to celebrate Christmas in the UK. King Charles has never celebrated Christmas with his two grandchildren, so Harry's friend claims that the couple would love to spend the holiday with the royal family. Meghan and Harry's final family Christmas at Sandringham was in 2018 before they left the UK and relocated to the US. Despite the Christmas avoidance, the couple did speak with Charles on the phone in honor of his 75th birthday. Also, they played a video of Archie and Lilibeth singing Happy Birthday to the King. The conversation is said to have marked a turning point in the cold relationship. Following Omid Scobie's scathing revelations about the royal family, netizens couldn't keep calm and utilized social media platforms to slam the author. While others record mean Markle's fake pregnancy conspiracy theories, one such eagle I posted on X, lying Scobie to again. King Charles III doesn't have a cell phone they continued. While on the topic of bringing up the unknown phantom children, I think it's time the public knows the legitimacy of those surrogate-born children who were fraudulently within the line of succession. One mocked, if this were true, it's some of the truth. Most likely sent pictures of the kids to King Charles without him asking or knowing. No doubt with a note written in calligraphy. It's all part of Harry and Meghan's plan to divide and conquer, a person recalled. Meghan's fake pregnancy theory and inquired, where did the bump go? And squatting, has any pregnant woman managed to squat like that ever with a disappearing bump? Bump that dropped in Birkenhead, many good people of Merseyside changed their minds regarding Harry's wife that day. Child services need to be called, and a welfare check for the kids is long overdue, said another one. And Sin claimed, there's no way you can wear heels that high in your third trimester. Your feet and ankles are way too swollen. It's also physically impossible to squat down with your legs closed and bounce up unaided. Give it up, Meghan Markle, we all know you used the surrogate. This move is impossible, stiletto heels, knees together, completely bent down. A real pregnant woman would fall backward, observed one more. Strangely enough, of all things, Meghan had chosen to clap back on via endgame. The thing that you would think would rate a mention, pregnancies and children, isn't even touched on. The silence speaks a thousand words. Lady C confirms in a YouTube video that the royal family will present all the truth about Harry and Meghan's invisible children in the spring of next year. The exposure has been delayed for reasons of a sensitive nature.